In the vast expanse of Star Wars, Luke Skywalker shines as a symbol of hope and courage. However, lurking in the shadows are iterations of Luke so bizarre they question his very legacy. Within Canons and Legends, we've unearthed the top 10 weirdest Luke Skywalker variants. These shouldn't exist, but they do. Who are these mysterious versions of our beloved Jedi? How do they deviate from the Luke who journeyed from Tatooine to Crate? And why, in the galaxy's name, shouldn't they exist? Join us in this countdown, starting with the relatively known to the most ominous version of them all. At the start of our countdown at number 10 is a version of Luke who attempts to move a noodle with the Force. A task depicted in Heir to the Jedi marks a simple yet significant trial for Luke, highlighting the infancy of his Force abilities. Midway through this narrative, we discover this character is early Jedi learner Luke Skywalker, who, without Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda's immediate guidance, navigates his connection to the Force. This moment, symbolic of his initial struggles, contrasts sharply with the formidable Jedi Master he will later become. Through such humble beginnings, we see the seeds of greatness being sown, as Luke embarks on a journey filled with trials and uncertainties, laying the groundwork for the legendary figure he is destined to evolve into. Next on our list at number 9, we journey to a place where Luke had a notably unique experience, dueling in a training remote in the ancient Jedi Temple on Deveron. This self-initiated trial, unlike the makeshift training aboard the Millennium Falcon, unfolds in the mystical and historically rich context of an ancient Jedi Temple. It is here, in The Weapon of a Jedi, a Luke Skywalker adventure, that we meet Temple Explorer Luke. This version of Luke, driven by curiosity and determination, not only hones his combat skills, but also deepens his connection to the Force, gaining insights into the Jedi way of life previously unexplored. Through these trials, he gains the wisdom and experience that shapes him into the leader and teacher he is destined to become, highlighting that the pursuit of knowledge is a Jedi's greatest journey. At number 8, we find a Luke Skywalker driven by a rare and intriguing aspect of Jedi lore, the Bearish Vow. This version of Luke, not immediately recognized as the Artifact Hunter, embarks on a journey depicted in the Marvel Star Wars comics, where he seeks out relics tied to this obscure vow. The Bearish Vow, a commitment by some Jedi to forsake the Order and dedicate themselves entirely to the Force, sets the backdrop for Luke's unique quest. His pursuit reveals more than just artifacts. It uncovers a part of Jedi history seldom spoken of, showing Luke as a Force archaeologist, discovering the galaxy's forgotten corners. This endeavor not only showcases his skills beyond combat, but also emphasizes the profound significance of history and knowledge in shaping a Jedi's path, highlighting a journey of preservation and discovery over mere conflict. At number 7, we explore a narrative where our hero ascends to legendary status, as chronicled in The Legends of Luke Skywalker. Here, he is not just a man, but a myth, becoming a colossal figure whose exploits echo across the cosmos. In the middle of this saga stands mythic hero Luke Skywalker, a figure molded by the tales of those he's impacted, turning him into a paragon of hope and valor. Among the most bizarre of these accounts is Luke's alleged spacefaring duel with an exogorth, the massive space slug, using nothing but a spacesuit and a grappling hook. This anecdote epitomizes the legendary aspect of Luke, blending the believable with the extraordinary and showcases how his actions, real or exaggerated, continue to inspire and shape the galaxy, portraying him as an enduring symbol of heroism and resilience. Next on the list, still canon, is number 6, a journey that brings us to a curious episode from the Shattered Empire comic series, where Luke undertakes an unusual mission to recover a Force-sensitive tree from an Imperial research facility. This endeavor, set in the aftermath of the Empire's downfall, pairs him with Shara Bey, Poe Dameron's mother. Together, they navigate the remnants of the old regime to salvage this living piece of Jedi heritage. Dubbed post-Endor Luke, he shoulders the immense task of aiding the nascent New Republic and preserving the Jedi's legacy. The quest for the Force-sensitive tree is emblematic of the broader mission to heal a galaxy scarred by conflict and oppression. This mission underscores Luke's role in the transitional era, where the line between myth and reality blurs showcasing his dedication to restoring balance and wisdom in a galaxy emerging from darkness. At number 5, we start diving into the legend's continuity as we encounter a version of Luke who achieved an extraordinary feat, the projection of multiple Force phantoms across the galaxy. This manifestation of his abilities, detailed in the Fate of the Jedi series, illustrates an unrivaled mastery of the Force, enabling him to interact with others from light years away. 
This brings us to Grandmaster Luke, the epitome of his journey as a Jedi. Post-original trilogy, Luke takes on the monumental task of founding the new Jedi Order, recruiting Force-sensitive beings to forge a new era of peace, justice, and service. Under his guidance, the Order transcends its former shortcomings, emerging as a beacon of hope. Luke, as Grand Master, confronts myriad threats, from Empire Remnants to the invasive Yu Zhen Vong, cementing his legacy as a paragon of Jedi virtues. His era signifies a time of profound growth and stability for the Order, showcasing his unparalleled wisdom and compassion. At number 4 in our Legends Odyssey, we dive into a chapter where Luke faces the clone Emperor Palpatine, resurrected to haunt the galaxy anew. In the Dark Empire comic series, we encounter a Luke who makes the dubious choice to become Palpatine's apprentice. This Dark Empire Luke Skywalker believes he can dismantle the Sith from the inside, using his position to learn their secrets and find a way to annihilate them. However, his strategy falters, plunging him into the depths of the dark side, ensnared by the Emperor's manipulative power. It's a scary journey back from the brink, with Leia Organa playing a crucial role in rekindling Luke's Jedi essence. Their united front ultimately topples the Empire's sinister regime once more, illustrating the perilous line between deception and falling into darkness. Next, at number 3 and from the depths of Legends in the Thrawn trilogy, comes a storyline so bizarre it twists the very fabric of Luke Skywalker's identity. Enter Luke, a clone spawned from the hand Luke lost in his clash with Darth Vader on Cloud City. This clone, bizarrely named Luke with an extra U, wields the very lightsaber Luke once lost. More puppet than person, Luke lacks consciousness, driven solely by the dark will of the Sith clone Joris Sabaoth. The climax is a surreal duel on the Imperial Star Destroyer Chimera, where Luke confronts this mirror image, embodying his darkest potentials and fears. The battle's end is equally strange. Mara Jade, driven by the Emperor's last command to kill Luke, fulfills this order by striking down Luke, closing her dark loop in a morbidly poetic twist. Coming in at number 2 for sheer oddity is an alternative legends narrative where Luke Skywalker adopts dark side techniques to fulfill his objectives, obscuring the moral boundaries traditionally upheld by the Jedi. In this arc, we encounter Sith Hunter Luke, a figure who represents a radical shift from the archetypal hero. Driven by an unyielding resolve to purge the galaxy of Sith influence, this Luke, along with a cadre of Jedi, undertakes a zealous campaign against Sith relics, holocrons, and adherents. This version of Luke, steeped in the darker aspects of the Force, showcases a departure from his ideals, engaging in aggressive tactics and making morally dubious decisions. His journey is a stark portrayal of a man battling not just external threats, but also internal conflicts, navigating the murky waters between upholding justice and succumbing to vengeance. And finally, at the pinnacle of our exploration into the bizarre, we explore a narrative so ominous where Luke, consumed by the lure of absolute power, establishes a new galactic regime. In this narrative, he enforces peace and order, not through diplomacy, but through authoritarian might, reflecting the darkest shadows of Darth Sidious's legacy. It's in the midst of this tale that we encounter reborn Emperor Luke Skywalker, a figure who not only succumbs to the dark side, but also declares himself as Emperor. This grim version of Luke, convinced that peace is a product of iron-fisted control, epitomizes the antithesis of the hero we once knew. His rule, marked by the same justifications once used by his foes, stands as a stark what-if in the Star Wars saga, offering a narrative that probes the consequences of Luke's potential fall from grace in the ensuring battle of the galaxy's soul. If you enjoyed this video, we invite you to watch our next video, Every Single Sith Type Variant Explained. Who are they and what makes each type unique? The answer awaits.